So hello and welcome to another video and this is a bit of a different video today. As you can see we are uh, in time trial. Um, we are as Johan Zarco. Don't know why I had to think about that for so long. And this is going to be the first episode of a new series called Race Against Pole. That's what I've decided to call it. And basically what it is, we're going to go every time there's um, a MotoGP race, we look at like who's like who's on pole and what lap time they've done and we're going to try and beat it in the same conditions on the same bike around the same track so yeah obviously uh, Zarco got pole in the Qatar well for the Qatar Grand Prix unfortunately he couldn't hold on to quite so good of a finish I mean he finished I think it was was it P8 in the end so he slipped back but I believe that was due to tyre wear but anyway we'll go out onto the track the time to beat is 1 minute 53.68 so I think we will probably struggle to do that actually especially with a um, minor setup on but I suppose we'll see what it is so 153.6 something I've already forgotten it I'll put it up on the screen hopefully I can beat it pretty quickly but this um, so this is pretty much just going to be me trying to beat it on the um, MotoGP 17 game. Obviously, once the MotoGP 18 game comes out, I'll start doing it on that. That's been a fucking terrible first corner. I oh, have no traction control on, so that doesn't really help. Ah, I've invalidated my lap. Well, we all saw that I didn't actually go off the track, so if I do beat it, then I'll count this. But, you know, technically it was invalidated, but I literally touched the curb, so I don't see how that's invalidated. This is making me look really bad at the game right now, isn't it? Because like I have an excuse in the videos usually because um It's against modded AI, so it kinda makes sense I don't win, but now I've just, all I've got to do is beat a real lifetime, which in the games is some at some tracks very easy, at some others it's actually quite difficult. I might have to change the gear ratios as well, you know, just mess about with the gears to make the bike a bit quicker, but for now we've just gone with the standard disc one on the uh, bike to make it so it can actually break properly especially since it's time trial so that's the only break worth using okay well this lap definitely will be invalidated after that so you know don't want to do any invalidated laps on here but it's going to be a banker just to see what it is I want to see how far off I am as well because it's been a really rusty and crappy lap really hasn't it Oh, I've nearly done a John McPhee there. Um, I'm planning on doing a race, like kind of rundown, like analysis kind of thing of all three races at some point. So, um, yeah. Look forward to that, I suppose. As much as you can. Okay, we've beaten it already, so a 52 2 that was. And that was what, again, I called a crap lap, so. I think the series might be a little easy, so maybe, I mean, we've already gone a second faster, but maybe in this series we'll have to try and go a second faster than uh, the pole position times, make it interesting, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comments, uh, I'm open to new ideas, especially as I am, I am getting more constant comments now, rather than before, I never used to really get any, so, you know, keep, keep commenting your questions and stuff. Obviously, pretty much everything about this video is um, stock, because Zarka's not modded at all in the mod. I mean, he's not changed anything, so why would I bother modding it, you know? When he's, like, his livery for his bike and his leathers and his helmet. As far as I could tell, anyway, from Friday to Sunday were the same, so... Um, I'll leave that. I think I got Shire in almost right. Apparently that's how you pronounce it. That's what I heard the commentator saying, so that's what I'm going to say. If we're going to invalidate it, it's going to be here, so we're just going to go nice and slow into here. Oh, nice line there. Well, actually, it was pretty bad, but again, we have a we have a second to play with here, so... Especially if we can maximise another areas. I don't know why the controller's vibrating like crazy. I mean, at least this game's vibration works properly. I mean, on F1 2017, I get barely any vibration through the controller on uh, the PC version. On the Xbox version, it's fine. Then we're about to come at the last corner now. This will probably be another lap 
that I've beaten the time on, hopefully. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, 52-0, so there you go. Boom. So we actually improved upon the original lap. We've beaten Zarko's pole by 1.3 seconds. So, uh, happy days. Happy days. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Uh, unfortunately, that's not going to upload to the leaderboards, I don't think. But, yeah. That's it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one. Stay tuned for the race uh, results and analysis and a new series featuring uh, Valentino Rossi, hopefully. Obviously not featuring the Valentino Rossi, but I'll be playing as Valentino Rossi. Stay tuned for all that, and I'll see you in the next video.